now let's take a look at how we treat a vocal with EQ. Um, I like to look at the processes that we do to sound on different axes. Uh, the first one being the frequency axis. Essentially, we're talking 20 hertz to 20K. Um, sound, our hearing, is between those frequencies, and every sound that we will be treating with an EQ will also be between the frequencies of 20 to 20 kilohertz, so a line like this. The human voice is essentially represented in almost that full bandwidth. Um, a human voice has a very large sound. Um, the fundamental, meaning the main actual note of the singer, the chest part of their voice, is in those lower frequencies. Not necessarily what we would call bass, but just above bass. Um, 100, 200, 300, 400 hertz maybe. Um, that's the fundamental notes of the singer's voice. Above that we have higher frequencies, high mid and high frequencies that are, well, let's just say they start at 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K up in there. And in those frequencies, we have the consonants uh, of, of the words that help improve the intelligibility and most importantly, the sibilant qualities, uh, the T's, the K's, uh, the ch's, the S's. Those syllables, or sorry, consonants, are, are where the real intelligibility of a vocal come through. So if we want to bring out any of these areas that I've talked about or lessen, we boost lows or low mids, we boost or cut uh, mids, and we boost or cut um, highs. So here is our EQ. Um, our EQ, uh, as we said, has the frequencies covered from 20 hertz to 20K. Here we have a five band EQ, so we can turn up any frequency that we select or we can turn any frequency down by doing this. And what you can see is that we've chosen to turn up lower frequencies down here in the area of about 200. We've taken out some frequencies around about 400. We're not really doing anything here at 1K. Here at around 2.7K we're boosting and then again at just under 10K we're boosting. I choose or prefer to use all bell shapes for my boost. I don't like to use um, high shelves or low shelves so much. Um, and then I'm also taking out all the low end below 100 hertz. So what this does for me with a voice is here we bring out the fundamentals, here we bring out the intelligibility, and here we bring out some intelligibility and also a lot of that personality that's I told you about in the upper registers of the vowels and just it, the prettiness of the voice. Now let's take a listen to the voice once with the EQ and without the EQ and I'll play them back to back so you can hear the difference. No EQ. And now you'll see what the EQ did was it brought out some of the fullness down here in the fundamental of her voice, took out some of these low mids that we didn't need, added clarity and brightness. Really makes the vocal sparkle. We've got a lot of other videos on our website, sae.edu.